Hi folks, Eric here. And it's my pleasure to introduce to you the internet debut of my very first animated film, Messy Mercury, which I had completed on June 10th, 2003. Huh? What's happening? It's raining rocks. This is a very messy planet. Now before I get into any technical details, let me just give you a little backstory on this film. It was created as a science project when I was in ninth grade. The premise was we had to select a planet from the solar system and do a little presentation on it, and in this case I chose Mercury. And since I wanted to get into animation and filmmaking in general, I decided to try my hand at making an animated short about the planet. I had grown fond of the original Felix the Cat television series and old cartoons in general, so I decided to make him the main character. Now, you're probably thinking, why have I held this film off for so many years? Well, the answer is quite simple. It really sucks. Basically because, you know, I only had three days to work on this and I was kind of in a mad dash to get it done, which meant the end product had a lot of audio sync problems and some of the transitions were pretty choppy, both of which I fixed for this special internet release. Also, looking back at it, I realized that some of the dialogue sounded a lot like bad film splices, so I went back and re-recorded those as well. That's a real low gravity level. All that aside, since we're getting to the film's 10th anniversary, I figured, why not celebrate by posting it on the web for all to enjoy? So, without further ado, I now present Felix the Cat in Messy Mercury. Calling Felix the Cat. Calling Felix the Cat. Report to Mr. Snively's office. Huh? Huh? Mr. Snively? What do you want? Come here. I have an assignment for you. Okay. I'm on my way. <laughs> NASA has been discovering planets for years. And some planets haven't been looked at for over 20 years. Including Mercury. Which is where you will go tomorrow, Felix. M -m 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 Mercury? The, the, the hot planet? Yes. Our staff has been discussing this, and it would be very interesting for people all over the world to see the first cat in space. And we suggested you, Felix. Will you do it? Well, um... I don't know. Okay? I may have to look this over. Come on, Felix. We could be the richest company in the world to have the first cat in space. So, will you do it? I'll do it. When do I lift off? 7.30 a.m. Okay. See you then. Goodbye, Mr. Snively. Well, today's my lucky day. Calling Felix. Come in. Right here, Mr. Snively. Are you ready for liftoff? Yes, Mr. Snively. I'm all set. Alrighty then. Hop in and prepare for the countdown. Over. Okay. I'm ready for liftoff.
See you later. All ready for liftoff. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, fire! Something tells me I should have stayed in bed. was fast. Okay, now let's see. From Earth to Mercury, it's 0 0.387 astronomical units. Whoa! I must be near the sun. I need some fresh air. Wow! Nice place. But it sure is hot in here. Let me check the temperature. Dazooks! It over 116 degrees Celsius! I'm gonna melt! Huh? What's happening? It's raining rocks. A crater must be occurring. When rocks collide with mercury. I get it. This is a very messy planet. I'm so glad to be out of here soon. Sure glad that's over. What? What's happening now? I'm floating. It must be low gravity on this planet. You know, it's funny that you should say that. Because here on Mercury, the gravity level is so low. 0 0.38 rams, I should say. Gazooks! I'm going to be here forever. Not if you can swim down to the surface like some astronauts do. Really? Sure. Works for me. When I'm in a low gravitated area. Okay, I'll try it. But I don't know if this is going to work. Thanks for the tip. No problem. You know, that little man just gave me a great idea. Maybe I should swim to the surface. Then get on my rocket. Go back to Earth. Then to Mr. Snively's office. And report the planet that I have just been on. I'll go right away. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, it's working. Boop, 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 boop. Well, it looks like Felix is back from his trip to Mercury. I wonder how he liked it and what he discovered. Welcome home to Earth, Felix. Did you have a nice trip? Yes, Mr. Snively. Did you find out some interesting facts about Mercury? Yes, Mr. Snively. I found out some really interesting facts. Whoa. Please, tell me them. Well, first off, I discovered that Mercury was the closest planet to the Sun and was 116.37 degrees Celsius, which is the mean temperature. And the gravity level was so low, a little man appeared and said that it was 0 0.38 grams. That's a real low gravity level. How far was it from Earth? Well, truth to say that Mercury was 0 0.387 astronomical units from Earth. I can't figure it out in miles, though. But it was a very far traveling distance. Well, Felix, you've done it again. 
But if you haven't already noticed, the rotation period for Mercury is 88 days in Earth days, and that it can only be seen a few times a year since it is the closest planet to the sun. So it makes it almost impossible to see it in our night sky. Well, Felix, I don't know what to tell you, but it's a pleasure of you to be here with us. Maybe someday, people might find out that you were the first cat in space. It's an honor to have you. Thanks, Mr. Snively. Jiminy Chillikers, look at the time. Gotta go. <laughs> Goodbye, Felix. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.